Alright, well I have been printing with this uh, X1 Carbon for uh, two or three weeks now and uh, doing some new designs, doing some old designs and just loving every minute of it. You know, it's it's been printing great. Um, I'm getting spoiled with the speed of this thing, but uh, I ran into an anomaly here that uh, it was quite interesting. It's the first time... And I don't know how many times I'm going to be run into this, but maybe everybody has seen this before, uh, or give me a pointer, or maybe uh, somebody from Bamboo Lab can explain it. But uh, but basically, it was an anomaly of of events that occurred when one of the spools ran out uh, mid print, right? And then I reloaded and all that stuff. But uh, let me show you what happened. My dog's going nuts over here. Let me show you what's going on. What are you looking at, girly? Oh, look at that. You see them there? There's two. Oh, there's three. There's another one way back there. Oh, here he comes. Look at those three little guys. <laughs> so I had to replace this spool, had to put a new spool on, um, it had run out and stopped right here, uh, so I pulled that length of, uh, of filament out, inserted the new stuff, but I was getting some weird reactions here on the screen, um, uh, before it's telling me, you know, the usual stuff, stick the filament in, into the extruder, and it read it and it fed it back in. But then it started to print again, leaving, you know, right back where it started. That's great. But now look at this. It's still telling me, uh, choose an AMS slot, then press load or unload to automatic load. Or a filament. Well, it's like, well, I don't really want to push that. I know this is, uh, what I put in there is Bamboo Lab, you know, the PA... Uh, carbon fiber but it apparently did not read it or it skipped a step or something so so I thought that was kind of strange I'm gonna see how the rest of the uh, the print comes out it's probably about 80% done right now um, and on my handy um, everything looks fine so I don't know what happened to uh, well I don't know so if anybody else has uh, has seen this problem let me know I doubt if I'm gonna go call customer service about this right away because it's still printing very well it uh, it started printing right where it left off when I replaced the filament so I'd like to hear some feedback from everybody first before um, before I call customer service and uh, I don't know when this is gonna happen to me again I just uh, I usually track my filament pretty well but uh, I was way off this time anyway all right so just finished printing and uh, what's interesting after it finished and then the filament cycled back and forth then it read the spool the PACF um, So it didn't show that until after it was already finished printing. <laughs> so, yeah, that was kind of strange. Yeah, now it's like it should be. So something was just out of whack. And you can see here, can you, can you see that? Um, You can see the distinct line here where the old filament and this is when the new spool 
started. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty interesting. You can see uh, you can see the line here. From here in the bottom was the uh, the old spool. I say old. It's the it's the sample spool of uh, uh, that was included with the X1 carbon. Um, and this is the PACF, that little sample piece that they gave. But I've been using it for a long time, right? It's been sitting up here in the case. And uh, now I did have uh, the silica gel. Um, all that good stuff. The desiccant. Um, I do have some in there. And I also do have a filament dryer. But... Apparently, I just need to uh, pay a little more attention when using PACF. I guess if it's going to sit overnight like it just did, I should probably put it in the in the dryer. Because uh, you can see how how messy the bottom looks. Now the the other piece of this hinge, of this clamp. This was done, it looks pretty clean throughout, right? But this was done on one of my uh, Ender 3, Ender 3 Pros that I've highly modified. And I run production stuff off of those. And with this one, I ran, um, I ran some PLA carbon fiber. That's what I've been using all my stuff on uh, with my bank of uh, Ender 3 Pros. And you can see they, they turn out fantastic. You know, I really like them. Um, so the biggest thing I'm going to do next, I'm going to start testing these parts. I'm playing around. I want to see what the strength is, the, uh, the bending modulus, I mean everything. I want to be able to start testing this stuff and really see what, what some of these uh, filaments are doing and, what, and what's best for what I'm trying to do. Uh, but... Yeah, so that's what happens if the filament is not dry. All right, well, I hope I get some feedback pretty soon on, uh, on what happened here. I thought that was kind of unusual. Um, so basically, it's when the filament ran out. I had to pull the, the remaining filament out and uh, put a new spool in, fed the, uh, the filament in, and it sucked it up and started printing again right where it left off, but it never detected uh, and showed what what filament it was and uh, and if it was coming out, it kept telling me to uh, <laughs> to load or unload or go to the next step. It's like, well, I didn't want to touch it. I mean, it's already printing, and the part came out great, um, but when it was over and the the filament cycled again, then poof then it uh, it read what it was and everything's fine so something was out of order uh, something's going on with uh, with the software I guess so I thought I'd just throw that out there and uh, either get feedback from everybody else or maybe we'll get some feedback from uh, the guys at uh, Bamboo Lab so well I guess that's about it so well thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video. <laughs>